What's up guys, my name is Marcel and welcome to The Modern Filmmaker. Today we're going to be color grading some footage from the brand new Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. If I seem excited, it's because I am. The Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K on paper seems to be the perfect running gun or indie filmmaking camera, but we have yet to see any footage. And while the camera is not out yet, Blackmagic has recently uploaded some footage to their website, some in RAW and some in ProRes HQ that you can download for yourself and analyze or put in color grading to see how far you can push the footage from this camera. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into DaVinci Resolve and see what this footage can do. So I've got a clip here from the Blackmagic Design website, which I'll leave a link to below so you can download for yourself and check it out. Uh, one thing I love that Blackmagic did was they paired the camera with an Olympus 12 to 100 millimeter zoom f.4 or f4 so it's kind of a pricey lens but it's not ridiculously pricey uh, you know i was really afraid when i saw the footage on the website i was like oh please tell me you didn't pair this with you know a speed booster xl and a twenty thousand dollar you know anamorphic lens because that's that's not realistic for most of us um but they really paired it really modestly and that's really awesome. Really respect that. Shout out to Blackmagic. You guys are awesome. Um, so right off the bat, one thing I'm noticing is in this beginning of the shot, there's no lighting on her. She's pretty much, you know, against the, w uh, against the window. She's shaded. There's shade up here. Um, there's all kinds of shadow in the shot. But really, it doesn't look terrible. The shot just right off the bat is not falling apart. I mean, I've worked with... Uh, several micro four thirds cameras and uh, if you've worked with them yourself then you know that the noise shadows can be an issue can definitely be an issue so the first thing i'm going to go ahead and do with the shot is i'm going to move this to the end another thing that i've noticed is the skin tones i'm going to go ahead and white balance this real fast and you can see that you know there's slight blemishes and imperfections in the skin but it doesn't look like digital artifacting like you'll see in a lot of digital cameras especially the smaller ones um it's probably because of the high bit rate and uh, the 422 but let's see how well that holds up as we move on to the next node and try to increase this lighting i mean the shot is during the day so we can have the shot a little brighter Yeah, that looks so far so good. I'm not going to lie. Now, if I were to push it all the way to the max, what would we see? Now, that's a good question. And it doesn't look terrible. Like, yeah, that's not, you know, there's some grain in there. There's some noise, but that's not terrible. I mean, if you guys color grade and you know what I'm doing right now, uh, I mean, it could look a lot worse and should look a lot worse. To be honest, with a little bit of noise reduction, I mean, that would be gone. Uh, with a very small amount of noise reduction, that would definitely be gone. Uh, so working with, you know, I've worked with the GH5 plenty. I had the GH4 as well. Pushing a shot this far um, is really not safe uh, so moving on uh, the next thing i'm going to do is boost the colors a little bit and we can see what they can handle now obviously this is too far um but now we are seeing artifacting but you know you'd never never push it this far honestly so we can bring that back down a little bit which still looks great looks totally natural totally good uh really liking that and then the last thing I'm going to do for this shot is I'm going to try to sharpen her face, as a matter of fact. I'm going to make a custom power window, quickly mask over her face, and boom. Soften that. And one thing I will do is mid move down the mid-tone details, and then I'm going to sharpen. That's, it's not terrible. I mean, I did this because you can see if I turn this off, it's actually focused on her shoulder. Uh, it's on her, focused on her shoulder and her leg. So it's a black magic fail, but um, her face is slightly out of focus. 
So by doing that, boom, now our face is in focus. And I moved down the midtone details because it can get a little crazy if you try to sharpen an out of focus shot. Um, just overall, it usually sharpens the blurriness of the out of focus shot uh, or the part of the shot that's out of focus. So by moving these midtone details down, you can soften that part of the shot. And then by sharpening, you just sharpen the edges. So looks really good, really impressed. Well done, Black Magic. Uh, maybe one more thing I'll do is just boost this contrast. A little bit not crazy. And yeah, I mean, that looks pretty freaking good. It's, it's good to know that this camera definitely lives up to the majority of the hype. Uh, it's really been a lot of unknowns with this camera. But I'm pleasantly surprised. I am pleasantly surprised. Before and after with that shot. Before, like trash. After, before, after. Beautiful. So moving on. I've got one more shot here that I really like. This one just looks really natural. It looks like the, you know, in, in this shot in particular, it looked like there could have been a, a third light here or a, an extra light here, an onset light here um, that was not just the window, but an extra light in front of her. Uh, this one looks more like this light could be coming from just the apartment. Um, now that might be wrong, but it looks like that. There's also not a backlight. This one just looks a little less staged and a little less like, you know, run and gun everyday conditions. So moving on to the color window, I'm going to do a good bit more to this shot just to really see uh, what can be done here. Um, first, it, her face looks a little green, slightly, just a little, mm, little green. So I'm going to tint that up a tad. Just a tad. May have gone too far, but I'm going to leave it. So then I'm going to raise the shadows a little bit. Increase the saturation. Tell it's, yeah, her skin looks a lot better now. Tell it's slightly overdone. And then a technique, if you've watched this channel before, and you've seen me use this, it's one of my favorite contrast techniques. Uh, I'm gonna make a layer mixer, grayscale the bottom layer, and I'll tweak these to bring out the lighting where I would like it. Now, the red would be her face, the green would be some of the stuff in the background, and the blue would be the sky. So I'm gonna darken the sky a little bit. Now I'm gonna go to composite mode and soft light. Last thing I'm going to do with this section is bring down the midtone details in this top colored layer, which will really just soften up the entire shot. It not only helps with noise, but it helps with skin tones. You can see if I boost this, you can see a lot of noise in here. Uh, and, you know, her, her skin looks, looks pretty rough. But if I bring this down, Let's put it back to zero so you can see what we started with. You can still see a little bit of noise and artifacting here just because we, uh, we have it pretty pushed right now. Uh, but by bringing these mid-tone details down, we'll get rid of a lot of that noise. And her skin looks drastically better. Very cool. Love it. Moving forward, uh, one thing I'll probably do is just add... A parallel tree here and I'm gonna sharpen her face it's not really out of focus but it's just one of those things I do I get a little addicted because it really makes the subject pop it's a lot of fun so once again I'm gonna bring down the midtone details slightly just a little this time and then sharpen, yep, to there. Boom. You may not even be able to tell through YouTube compression, but her eyes are a little sharper and so are her lips, uh, which is really kind of draw you in. Really cool, really digging that. Um, 
And I might even... See, now I'm getting carried away. Now I'm just having fun. There is nothing there. Yeah, just to make her skin look a little... Yeah, digging it. So lastly, sorry, I'm getting carried away. I just love color grading. I'm gonna create a pretty big softened up vignette around her. That'll help because over here you kind of see a little noise still. There's a lot of shadows over here, um, and we can help those shadows out by just darkening them up. Yeah. And it looks even more like nighttime. Love that. Love that to death. Alt S, make a new node, and maybe I'll bring a little bit of contrast in the shot without losing any of the, the, the bottom, any of the shadows. Yeah, I'm liking that. Before, after, before, after. Yes, Black Magic. <laughs> Round of applause to Black Magic. You guys did it. It's great to see this footage finally. Um, anyway, guys, if you guys want more videos on the Black Magic Cinema Camera or any videos on anything, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the Black Magic Cinema Camera, first of all. And leave a like if you guys like this video. And also feel free to subscribe. I'm definitely keeping up with the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. And I'm also always doing videos on color grading. So once again, guys, this has been the Modern Filmmaker. I'm Marcel, and I'll see y'all later. Peace! <laughs>